welcome back to Fairhead uh, Energy Limited. Let's play Malarkey. And uh, yeah, we're into December. So this is episode nine. Now, before we go into things, the money. 1.2 million pounds. <laughs> because, obviously, skipping the time that we have, everything has processed through and sold. So I have deactivated the cheaty one now. So that was that's all gone. We've got the um, other distributor still turned on but it's got no inputs because we've got no grass silage now i have fixed the bunker um thank you disturbed we tried just changed it in the xml and no joy um so he reminded me that there's the bunker silo utilities mod and that fixed it eventually um i'll get I'll, when we get back to the bunker i'll show you um, what exactly happened but we need a new tool because moving <laughs> 2000 something liters at a time with the telehandler is just not cutting it so we are gonna go for the albert silage fork and i can't remember who this is by i do apologize but we're gonna get that and we're gonna buy it hopefully i have set the store point back Aha, I have. So we've got that. Perfect. We now need a loader. And we're going to go for this one. So this is by the Lord. I remember this one. This sticks out. So I've already been in and I've spec'd it in my head. So we want front twins just because it gives it a bit more stability. Brand, I'm not going to change. Beacon, we're going to go for variation two. Don't want warning signs. I would like jet black and I would like dark gray and we'll go for black rims number plate that is fine and we are going to buy that uh, uh, did I, I didn't just I didn't buy it did I what happened there customize click to escape stupid boy uh why right there we go Let's have a look, actually. I don't know how many what we got. Can't change the Michelins. There we go. Right. Beacon. Variation 2. Main colour. Jet black. Design colour. Dark grey. Rim colour. Jet black. And I. Yes. Aha. Marvellous. So, we'll get this lot connected. We'll get it back to the yard and I'll uh, talk you through what happened with the bunker. So using the bunker silos utility, I could um, you can change the tarp colour and various, you can open and close, you can clear the bunker, etc. So I closed it, reopened it, nothing. Closed it, reopened it again and it opened the back. So I had to get the telehandler up here, sort of scoop a bit up and then gradually edge forward until the lot opened took me about five minutes so not overly arduous in the end it's just a bit of a faff um i did actually check to see if there was an update to um fairhead on the mod hub but no such look um at the minute and i'm guessing that's one of the things, hopefully, that the team are aware of. Um, but, you know, if it was console, then you'd be a bit more miffed. Um, but managed to sort it in the end. Now, like I said, this is episode number nine. Um, which might, if I can get me... Uh, I'm get me stuff together. Come out on the Sunday after episode eight, just because Mister Disturbed has been away with work and got back. So it's Friday afternoon now, by the way. So this is our normal recording slot, um, and he's got back and 
needs to be with his missus. So, you know, that's fine by me. Totally understand. So, like I say, if I can get myself organised and do two Fairhead episodes this afternoon, then this should be a bonus Sunday video. Um, normally, I would just um, <laughs> take the afternoon off, but I'm actually quite feeling it at the minute. I'm getting into it again. I'm loving it, and um, yeah, so why not do a bit whilst I've got chance? But yeah, that's the plan. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Now, I'm always unsure with wheel loaders if they're going to cope with the weight of things but this one is doing a grand job um, and it's probably two and a bit times as much per load as we get with the old telehandler so jobs are good and can't really moan um, I think once we've shifted this lot and don't worry I'm not going to probably talk to a whole lot I'm not sure that there's anything left to do um, other than start advancing through the months. I think the next big thing that we'll do uh -huh, is look to uh, swap the fleet. Um, I've really... What I, well, what I need to do is go back and read um, any suggestions that were made um, when I mentioned it before. And just get all that lot sort of straight in my head and make a decision. <laughs> Which is, you know, easier said than done when it comes to things. Um, I think the masses were, and still are, a, a fantastic choice. Um, especially now we've got the little, uh, little 6S with the all-wheel steer. So... Yeah, I'm going to be... It's going to be weird changing. But... I think... Um, it'll be cool at the same time. Do you know what I mean? It'll be good. Changes... Woo! Is as good as the rest. There we go. So, once we've done this bucket load, we will check how much is in the BGA and uh, yeah we can then maybe start to speed up the time so she processes a bit quicker but let's find production 51,000 litres lovely we've got quite a bit of digestate as well so I think after first cut we can probably then get out in the fields and get ourselves um, spreading some digestate so yeah I, I mean half of me thought this could be like a 10 episode series but I'm quite enjoying it um, I don't think it's not going to be a long 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 series I think um, you know we'll probably we'll do the fleet change We'll um, do maybe one or two cuts and then maybe look to end it. So sort of like, I don't know, 15, 20 episodes maybe. And then move on and use the Friday slot as a, I don't know, maybe shorter series. I don't know, not sure. Need to have a think. But yeah, we've still got a way to go. So will this... Fill the BJ. Nope. All right. I'll keep going and I'll see you when we're full. So the BGA is all full. So I've just come to look at nature and <laughs> keep an eye on things. And it reminds me actually, I was in the I was in the local the other day and this bloke comes up to me and he offers me um, four sides of venison for. 250 quid I think it was and I thought to myself is that too dear 
Anyway, right. <laughs> BGA is full, so we can just knock the time up a little bit. That'll uh, that'll empty me empty me grab nice and quickly, and we can start shifting. You'll see that the electric charge is rocketing up, as is the digestate. So jobs are good in there. See, it's kind of a rinse and repeat now, really. How much have we got left? Let's have a quick shifty. We've got seven. That's not right. There's there's more than seven thousand liters here. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. We'll see how we get on then. <laughs> Right, in fact, I'm going to knock the top even more. We'll go for times 10, because that will sort things out, and then we can just crack on through and uh, keep topping it up. So while another two loads process through the BGA, I was just thinking how potentially you could fix this if you've got GE. I guess you, what you'd need to do is just raise the bunkers up but then you'd have a, a bit of a lip at the back um so some landscaping would need to be done where the uh where the old um what is it orange harvesters parked um because that's going to move up what another half a panel so it depends if you like tipping in from the back and you don't mind the lip then yeah fair enough might be all right but I think um yeah i don't think i'll bother i think if we're gonna do bunker silage again we might i don't know can you actually remove them no so we need to look at sacrificing a bit of field maybe if we wanted to do silage again, or bunker silage again at least. Um, but yeah, that's for the future. That is for the future. I'm not going to worry about that now. I'm just pleased we can get the uh, the silage out and into the BGA. So let's look how we're doing. Ah, it's cracking on through it now. We can carry on and throw some more in. I am loving using uh what is it my side panel where's my words gone um just seems a lot it is a lot smoother and i think that makes for a better viewing um because you're not trying to correct the view on the loader all the time because these articulated ones sometimes can be a bit um Bunky, I guess, when you're trying to record, because your camera moves with them. But I think doing it like this it is a lot smoother. So, yeah, pleased with that. I mean, we could have got belt systems and and whatnot to do the job for us, but <laughs> I dare I say it, it's not overly realistic. <laughs> um, so yeah. So that's that's my reason anyway and it's you know it's it's nice to use the different kit and have the money to be able to do it i've not even priced up how much we get for selling the fleet of masses to be fair so i think we're going to be in a decent position <laughs> um i was looking at the finances and across there was a couple of months where we made about 450 grand um and then there's the odd ones where it's just under 100 and i think that's the waiting period for stuff to ferment so but yeah if we keep it going like this <laughs> we're going to have some serious cash to spend which you know me i am all for so we'll oh well we i will crack on um so clearly there was more than seven thousand liters in here i don't know whether that's picking up another 
um, the silage that is sort of in the other bunker a bit I don't know but yeah I'm just happy that we managed to get the majority unlocked and uh, into the BGA well several loads later and um, I'm a bit perplexed if I'm on it well I'm not perplexed I, well I am I am and I'm not um, I know why it's doing it but if I just show you so these ones are on now I thought that you needed to activate something for it to distribute to it but these are deactivated and it's still distributing now I've probably got that the wrong way around somewhere on the line knowing me um but yeah I didn't want to use this until this was completely full so what well, I'm going to activate it and then when I get to a point that it's completely full I think we're going to get rid of it and put a normal one in in its place I think that's my logic there and then they can both just run and distribute and their hearts content um, and if we can't keep up we can't keep up um, I don't think there's any more space to add one in but you can see the money just creeps up every hour <laughs> which is what we want only trouble is in December then light is drawing in so what we'll do is we'll go as long as we can in December 1 and then we'll rest um, and we'll then just move on next day continue um, getting the bunker emptied um, which will then set us up nicely money wise hopefully for the next episode where we will uh, swap the fleet so I'm going to push on and I'll catch you in a little bit um, when either we're uh, just about to sleep or if we've managed to empty the bunker before then which I very much doubt well morning <laughs> now we're into a bit of a frosty December 2 um, we went till about 8 o'clock and it was utterly utterly pitch black so let's just have a look at these right so that's still going that's got a bit more no surprise there that that is all processed methane that's all fine right so there's not much left to get out the bunker um proving somewhat sticky now there we go try a different angle i don't think it's gonna make much difference if i'm honest it's all a bit stuck um but we've got the majority out of it so come on power right so i think what we're gonna do is we'll put this in and um well, it's been, it's been a few hours in game actually um in in game in real life i mean um it's now what are we on quarter past three um mrs Kartek had half a day she bought lunch home <laughs> and uh yeah and then she was getting ready to go out and um i may or may not have had a bit of a nap in my gaming chair um listening to disturbed <laughs> play timberborn sorry mate i'm sorry um i do pay attention to some of those videos honestly that's just so relaxing right so get out, out of there now i'm gonna have to clear this because otherwise it is going to upset me landscaping painting no, it doesn't really matter does it it's a pit uh, not that you can actually see what I'm doing or where I'm doing it there you go let's try V man it's so annoying 
it really is starting to debate on me. Now, there, I actually, saying that, there is an option, I'm sure, with... Was it? Oh, duh, duh, duh. Let's have a look. Let's have a look together. Because if we go to... Ooh, oh, where are you? Or A... B. Bunker. Close. Cl clear is K. Yes. Oh. Okay. Lovely. Let's go to this side and do the same. Aha. Uh -huh. Lovely. Should have thought of that the first time. <laughs> so. I've also had another. Not cunning. But well, it is a cunning plan. Early on in this series, I said. Early on in this series, I said this was going to be everything silage. We haven't yet done whole crop or um, forage. No, wrong one. Uh, maize, maize silage, whole crop and maize silage. So. I think we're going to buy some land. We are. <laughs> and I'm looking at these two. 19 and 81. Just because of the size. So. What I reckon. And bear with me. I know I'm sort of rambling. We've missed the planting window. Because it's a bit of a weird one. It's just, it's just custom, so it's fine. But we could put in. What can we forage? We we'll put corn in, because that can be a silage. Uh -huh. And then we'll hang on and we'll do barley probably next year, I reckon. So. Yeah, we'll do two fields of corn for May silage. Like I said, we'll stick a bunker or two in on here. I think we can probably get away with flattening some of this out, he says. But what we're going to do first is buy the land. So... 114% uh, yield potential. That'll do. Yes. And 100%. Oh, 98%. Uh, that'll be fine. It'll be fine. Right. So, in the next episode, which I said I was going to do the fleet swap, but I'm not now because, well, I, I want to record it straight after this and I'm lazy and. I haven't made a decision yet. So, the cunning plan <laughs> is finish the recording here for this one. And then we'll probably pick up in January, I think, maybe, maybe Feb. And um, we'll see what the weather's doing. And um, we'll start transforming those fields into arable fields that we can have uh, maize this year or next year and then ultimately uh, whole crop probably the year after so on that bombshell thank you all for watching i hope you've enjoyed what's i guess is a bonus episode um yeah i hope you've enjoyed it if you have leave a like and i'll catch you in the next one take care